Hi, I'm Casey Morrison with Astera Labs, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate the industry's first Compute Express Link interoperation between a root complex from Intel, a retimer from Astera Labs, and Endpoint IP from Synopsys. Compute Express Link, or CXL, is an open, industry-backed standard which enables cache-coherent interconnects for processors, memory expansion, and accelerators. This enables resource sharing for higher performance, reduced software complexity, and lower overall system cost. Features critical to emerging applications in artificial intelligence and machine learning. In this demonstration, we are using Astera Labs Solstice 3U riser card, which uses two Ares Smart Retimer devices to expand a 32-lane PCI Express slot on the system board into two by 16 adding card slots supporting PCIe Gen 5 and CXL devices. We have one Solstice 3U riser card plugged into an Intel Next Generation server platform. In the chem slot, we have connected a Synopsys HAPS-80 FPGA prototyping system, which is implementing a CXL 2.0 endpoint using Synopsys DesignWare controller IP. The root complex in this topology is an Intel Sapphire Rapids processor, which supports PCIe Gen 5 and CXL 1.1 interconnects. The end-to-end -end CXL link is formed between the Sapphire Rapids processor, the Aria Smart Retimer, and the Synopsys DesignWare controller. To check the status of the CXL link, we can use the Ares Python SDK and Intel Cscripts tool. On the left, we can see Cscripts reporting that the link is up in the L0 state and in CXL mode. On the right, the Ares Python SDK shows the status of each lane, including the detected CXL protocol, signal quality parameters like figure of merit, link training results, and other real-time diagnostics. We can also check the link state from the endpoints perspective using the Synopsys IP Voyager GUI. Here we can see that the link has correctly formed as a by 8 running at 8 gigatransfers per second. CXL status monitors show CXL.io, .cache, and .mem transactions all correctly passing between the root complex and endpoint, while the link remains in the L0 state. This concludes our demonstration of the industry's first fully formed CXL link between a root complex, retimer, and endpoint showing the successful transmission of CXL.io, .cache, and .mem transactions. Thanks for watching.